my first train rising. On a misty fall morning, stories emerge. We did not get equal treatment. Anticipation as pieces fall into place. Right now, I just gotta wait and wait. And a sometimes painful past pulls into the present. I want people to feel that this is not an African American story, this is American story. After eight years of meticulous planning, crews are lowering the first artifacts into the future Museum of African American History and Culture. So according to the email that I got, the tower was going in first. First, an Angola prison tower. Look at that. Wow. Then, a 1920s Southern rail car. Yeah, look, that's, that's going up. Shrink-wrapped vestiges of segregation. Segregation really shaped American life for more than 100 years. Oh, that's okay. Rick Berry and his wife Lynette waited three and a half hours for this moment, but a lifetime for the opportunity. I feel happy that it's being placed somewhere that everyone can see and people don't forget. What a wonderful thing to witness. In an area people won't miss, the $500 million project sits in the shadow of the Washington Monument. On the edge, Betty Penn peered in. Our things will be recorded for people who come here to see that we are an equal part of this country. A reflection on a shared identity. I'll be a citizen soon, so that's a piece of my history as well. Whether black, white, American, or soon to be. Regardless of who you are, you've been shaped by this history, by this culture. Well, Candace, this will be the 19th uh, Smithsonian Museum, and when it opens, it will be the only national museum dedicated to African-American history, art, and culture. It's slated to open its doors in the winter of 2015. Back to you.